I'm gonna get some. I'm gonna get some in a second. Alright, uh, yeah, it's two dragon drinks. So you want two dragon drinks? Yeah. Anticipating it's gonna be very good. Though. Yeah. 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 Nice. Tease my, tease my jam. Bobby, we're gonna right. only have one meal for the rest of your life. What would it be? Oh man, is this real? Yeah. Okay, uh, I, it's hard because. I can switch the proteins with this, this mix though. This has to be macaroni and cheese, mm -hmm. broccoli. So would you say that's your favorite meat? I would say it is. It's nice. Do you do you prepare that meal? Most of the time, yeah, because um, I don't like the chance of my cube steak being cooked by anyone else because I know how to cook it to perfection. Yeah. And so it's just tending you cut it with a, a butter knife. Do you have a do you have like a like a technique that makes to, that ensures that it's uh, the correct tenderness every time? Yeah, I do. Well, let me. I'm gonna try to explain this without you saying pause to me. Show up. <laughs> <laughs> gonna get real messy. That's crazy. That's crazy work. <laughs> you have to use the meat tenderizer. You gotta, you gotta tenderize the meat. Yeah, you, you don't want those meat tenderizers. It look like a hammer. Mm -hmm. You wanna say meat is so bad? Uh, no, I was gonna say pound, <laughs> pound. <laughs> 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 uh, yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah. And then you got, then you just, you know, you, you gotta, uh, you gotta braise it, uh, and then make your gravy. Uh, lay it down uh, in the skillet. And then you just simmer it real slow. And then and you get that perfect tender. Oh, man. Yeah, it looks good right like there. I hope it's as good as it looks. It sounds good. I mean, if it's as good as I hope it is, this might be on my list of making stops here. Think about it. Five out of tea, though. <laughs> <laughs> How you feel about that? Dude, the peach on this, oh, it's fire. <laughs> this is good. 10 out of 10? Oh, yeah. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. That looks like fire. See how you like this. Yeah, it's fantastic. Yeah, he already know. He know. He know about that already. Which one is that one? It's a dragon drink? Dragon. Yeah. So it's got dragon fruit in it. I guess, yeah, probably. Oh, yeah, man. I, I always have great days, man. Every day is good now. You know? Beautiful Arizona. Where, weather's cooling off. You know? I got all my boys with me. See, I can't ask for nothing. Life feel, is good. How you feel about that, Rob? Whatever he says, man. How you walk with the box. Right there? Yeah. You, you already you failed your job. Thanks, you already failed your job. <laughs> He's the doorman. Hey. Hello. Oh, nice. She's just a nice rock. <laughs> Can I get a blue ray? Okay, pop. Old pioneers. So a bunch of the a bunch of the viewers they have like different questions okay. that they want to know about you. Okay. So sure. um first question is where are you from? Where am I from? Yeah. I was born in Louisville, Kentucky. Mm -hmm. And then I at the ripe old age of twelve. Mm -hmm. My parents relocated to Indianapolis, Indiana. Mm -hmm. This is where I grew up. And I went to grade school and high school and college. In Indiana. In Indiana. Yeah. Yeah. And how old are you now? I am 67 years of age. And uh, when's your birthday? My birthday is February the 8th. 
1957. And what's your sign? My sign is Aquarius. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Here, check these. You know Aquarius got it going on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Backfield in motion, yeah. I'm gonna have to penalize you. Woo! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sunny got cowboys to girls. What? It's, what? They got this up in here? Yeah. <laughs> what is that? They know about this. This is some kind of comp compilation of uh, the 60s. Oh, okay. So they got, let me see something about what's your, this. What's your favorite era of. Uh, music if you had to pick a decade if i gotta pick a decade i mean i'm biased man i'd go with the 70s that was in my youthful ages when i was running around chasing women getting drunk you yeah. know smoking tons of weed yeah. you know that kind of thing how old was you how old was i mm -hmm. in the 70s uh let's see i was like uh i graduated from high school in 1975 so i was 18 then early 20s yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that was okay. good. Dude. That, was, that was a good year. Yeah. So, what were some of your favorite artists as you were growing up? Oh man! Oh look at this. They got the weekend in here. Um, my favorite artists. Oh man, it goes on and on and on. Uh, from jazz to uh, the R and B to uh, rock. I mean, I used to listen. Believe it or not, Dan Fogelberg. Johnny Cougar, Melon Camp, and then we go to switch over to jazz. You go Stanley Tarantino, you get uh, um, uh, Bobby Humphrey, you got Lonnie Liston, Lonnie Liston, you got the Crusaders. Then you go to the uh, the, the smooth crooners like Stylistics, Shylights. Uh, oh man, the list goes on and on and on. Is there any like albums that like remind you of like a specific time in your childhood, like? It was just like that stuck out to you. Um, mostly, um, I think about this one album just stuck to me all the time, and it never did go away. And it was uh, um, an album by the Stylistics, and it was entitled the title of the album was called Round Two. Mm -hmm. And I played that album consistently all through my years in life, even now today. Yeah, I just love that that oh, album. You passed that one on to me. Yeah, I, I passed it on. Yeah, 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 I love that album. <laughs> and so, uh, yeah, and then. Uh, a lot of war um oh, okay i like war and uh it's but those are kind of two that stand out to me mm -hmm. yeah okay okay pop so the people want to know so far out of all the albums we listen to we've listened to over like i think like a couple over hundred, hundred <laughs> probably over 150 albums uh -huh. what would you say is your favorite hip-hop album so far my favorite hip hop item, album would be to, be to Pimp a Butterfly, Kendrick Lamar. Man, I'm a Kendrick Lamar fan now, for real. Yeah. Second close would be uh, J. Cole. J. Cole. I got this one J. Cole uh, song I was playing on repeat yesterday. It was uh, something about, oh gosh, I hit on my playlist. I was trying to find it, but I had it on, I had it on random, so I didn't know where it, it fell in my, but it was a J. Cole uh, uh, song. He's like if he said something about um, quit quit doing it to all these hoes because you the pussy or something like that. And before oh, that, oh 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 oh, what the hell is that album called? This is the one with the basketball the, court the, that's the, on fire. Ain't that not, the fire? Not the warm up. Off season. Off season. Off season. There off season. it is. Off season. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just type in the lyrics if you remember that bar. Hunger. Is that it? Hung on the hill. Oh yeah, yeah, yep. yeah. That's yeah. Hunger on the hillside. Yeah, hunger, hunger on, on the hillside. hillside. Yeah. yeah, that yeah. mug. Yes. Yeah, I had that mug on repeat the other day, bro. That's a banger. Yeah. That's actually, that's like one of the best songs on the album. Is it? Sure. Yeah, you like it? The yeah. best ones on it? Yeah. They don't play the music. They go copyright it. All right, cool, cool, cool. Okay, so J Cole is one of your favorite. What, name some of your other favorite artists out of the artists we've listened to so far. I oh, mean, you know. I was really surprised, man, when I heard uh, T.I., you know, some of the old school boys, uh, mm -hmm. T.I., I liked him. I liked, uh, man, I, I really enjoyed Ludacris. And, man, um, 
what's the other Atlanta boys? Uh, uh, Young Jeezy? No, oh, no. Oh, Outkast. Outkast. Yeah. Oh, Outkast is a strong one too. Man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So are you are you hungry? Are you hungry? Yeah, I'm, I can eat. Pop, are you hungry? I'm hungry, okay. and you didn't even have to ask Jason. Was he hungry? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's a walking eating machine. That's what he is. Yeah. yeah. All right. A regular old Joey Chestnut. All right. <laughs> um, let's go get some food. Food time. All right. We're going to get on this pool table. And you know what I do. I'm about to smack him. I'm about to smack him. Everybody's getting smacked around here. Let's go. Anticipate on some nice pool. Oh, so many people shoot pool. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. But if I could, if I had a time machine, I'm going to the 90s for sure. I want to be like an adult in the 90s. I feel like the 90s was so lit. Like the music, dancing, clubs, like just the whole vibe of the 90s looks looks crazy. And it's coming back too. All right, Mom, if, if you could have a, if you could have a superpower, what would your superpower be? Ooh, if I had a superpower, make myself invisible. <laughs> <laughs> To it. What'd you go? What's gonna be your first act as invisible man? The, 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 play, prac, the play practical jokes on people. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Bro, what kind of wallet is that? Where'd you get that? Oh, this is a this is an extra wallet. Um, really? Yeah. They just they just sent me this. It's dope. You can like put your cards in. It's real sleek. Oh, neat, neat. And then actually, they do. They new wallets come with this, and it's actually uh, syncs with your Find My on your iPhone. Okay. So, in, okay. like, if you if you lose your wallet, you could just go on your your iPhone, go into the Find My app, uh -huh. and it'll locate it for you. Oh, that's that's so cool, man. You know what? I need me something like that, for real. Well, if you want to get one, you can actually go to Extra's website, extra.com, and mm -hmm. use code Gap Gang and save and they always have deals going on but if mm -hmm. you if you use that code gap gang you'll uh -huh. get an extra discount on top of whatever promotions they have going on oh that sounds sweet yeah yeah <laughs> yeah i like that for sure. oh that's so smooth though i like the way yeah, it check put, it out. puts out those cards so i just push it where yeah. do i push it push right the, right here there, right there oh yeah that's smooth use code gap gang for your discount on your extra wallet Beautiful. Salute. 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 Oh. oh, that was smooth. Yeah. All right, pops. Um, the chat wants to know what is your dream car. You know, I've never been much of a uh, car fanatic or anything like that. But if I was going to get a dream car. I think there's a couple of dream cars I would like, but oh boy, um, I'm a simple kind of person, you know. My dream car would be like a, a brand new Lexus 400 series, black on black, fully loaded. I'll probably pimp out the wheels a little bit, just a little bit, just on make it a little bit on the classy side. Not like looking out um, gangster and ghetto, but just on the classy side. Yeah, yeah that's what I do. That'd be my dream car right there. <laughs> hey man, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed watching this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Also drop a comment and let us know what we should do next. Make sure you hit that bell. And the website is btg.show. Yes, sir. Check out that website. Check out the Patreon. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Peace. Peace.